Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, today's video. Blackened crab stuffed salmon. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for authentic Cajun and Creole cuisine, comfort food, and just about anything for that matter, then you come to the right place. Today's recipe is a blackened crab stuffed salmon. Super delicious, very easy to make. We're gonna go ahead, get straight to the kitchen so I can show you what I'm talking about. Here are some of the ingredients. I will have the full recipe in the description box below. We're gonna go ahead and get our vegetables prepped for this crab stuffing. Now it doesn't take much, so just make sure you follow the recipe and you'll be good to go. After I got the vegetables prepped, I took a small block of cream cheese out of the refrigerator and put that on the counter so that it come at room temperature. Now I have a small frying pan that I'm getting heated up on a medium heat and we're going to add about two teaspoons of butter to that. Once your butter is melted and comes up to temperature, we're going to add the vegetables, a little bit of salt. We're going to saute this for about 10 minutes until the onions become translucent and the vegetables start to soften. Now we're gonna add about two teaspoons of lemon zest. Then we'll take two cloves of garlic, put that through a garlic press. We'll saute that for another two minutes or so just until that garlic becomes fragrant. We're gonna head and turn the heat off and we're gonna add the juice of a half of a lemon. We're gonna give that a quick mix and then we're gonna add our crab meat and a little bit of that West Coast Cajun Cuisine's Creole seasoning. Give that another quick mix Set that to the side and let it come up to room temperature. Now it's time to get our salmon fillets prepped. Now I went ahead and patted them dry with a paper towel. And now I want to cut a little pocket in the center of these fillets for the crab stuffing to go into. Now as you can see, this fillet is thick on one end and it slowly tapers down to a very thin uh, part. Now you can cut that thin part off or I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on. You just wanna make sure that you cut that pocket in the thick part of the filet. You wanna stay in the center as much as, as possible, and you also wanna make sure that you don't go all the way through and cut this filet in half by accident. You just want a nice little pocket so that you can stuff that crab stuffing into. Now that our crab mixture has cooled down to room temperature, we wanna add the rest of the ingredients. You also wanna make sure that your cream cheese has come up to room temperature and is soft so that you can just fold this in. Just make sure you follow the recipe and you'll be good to go. Now it's time to stuff the salmon. You wanna make sure that you fill this pocket, but don't overfill it to where it will bust out of the flesh on the other side, the top, bottom, whatever. Just fill it up enough to where it kinda of looks like what you see here. Now it's time to season the salmon. Now I'm gonna use a blackened seasoning that I made and I will leave the recipe to it in the description box below. Normally you can find this stuff in your local grocery store, but it's super easy to make and it'll save you some money. Now this seasoning is fairly potent, so we're gonna season one side of the filet very well. Now I have a cast iron skillet that I'm gonna heat up on a medium high heat. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Now I wanna get my skillet up to a temperature of about 350 to 365. Then we're gonna add our fillets seasoned side down and let them cook without touching them for at least five minutes. Now after about five, six minutes or so, it's time to flip the salmon. Now if you notice that your fish is sticking to the pan, it's not ready to flip. You want it to release from the pan freely without any force. 
Now once you flip it, it should look something like this. Now I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna put this into the oven for another five minutes. After about five minutes, we're gonna pull the skillet out of the oven and we're gonna get ready to plate. Now it's time to plate up and look, you know me, I'm gonna make it look all fancy and stuff. Now this is dinner for us tonight, so I did make some sides and I'm just gonna garnish this with a little bit of green onion and now it's time to give it a taste. And I tell you what, this was excellent and I'm not a huge cream cheese fan, but this was really, really good. Hey, thanks for sticking around and if you haven't already and you would like to subscribe, click here. You want to check out one of the other videos on this channel, check out this playlist or YouTube thinks that this is the video you may want to watch next. Either way, click one of those and I'll see you there.